In this section, I'm going to explain uh, to all of you uh, what exactly is Tango Awareness, what are you looking for, and what are the primal structure that uh, makes it to be Tango Awareness and not something else. So, the first thing we should uh, take into account is the first description of what Tango Awareness is. And <clears throat> the latest definition we have is that it's a set of instructions uh, to uh, amplify your awareness through the conditioning of pleasure. Okay? So, uh, this whole uh, description of what Tango Awareness is he has several components that I have to uh, clarify to you and explain each one of them. Uh, <clears throat> first, I'm going to give you an overall uh, view of some main points. One rule of thumb is tongue awareness, for example, all the exercises you've been practicing, as you can see, we use no embrace. So, uh, in this way, we condition the nervous system that every time there is in your practice a balance issue, that means you might lose balance or you might get scared or something might happen. See? The natural reaction of people is to do this with their hands and to gr try to grab into someone or something, right? to stop the perception of falling. So, uh, through all these exercises, because we use no embrace, what we are doing is that we are retraining the nervous system that if something happens, you will have to use yourself on the floor instead of your partner. That in itself, uh, it's a great training because after you practice with no embrace, then when you go uh, to dance with your partner, uh, your, um, your body is uh, more adept to uh, solve balance issues within itself and not by uh, grabbing your partner, which it tends to be uncomfortable and, uh, and not useful uh, to grab your partner for balance. Okay? Uh, that will be one of the main, main concepts. Uh, <clears throat> so that is to practice, to have your own, uh, your own movement, your own balance situation without grabbing your partner. So uh, that's one of the rules and that's why we practice with no embrace. Uh, the th second thing I want to uh, address is that tango awareness is not body awareness. Yeah? Uh, <clears throat> so let's address this issue and also tango awareness is very distinctive and very different of what you have been practicing before and um, what you can practice in probably 99% of the classes out there. Uh, let me give you uh, why uh, the target is so uh, different. Um, we can divide uh, your attention. That means where you're going, uh, where are you paying attention? And for example, when you hear uh, an instructor, that instructor uh, can give you uh, an instruction that uh, makes your attention to go inside yeah, or outside. Okay? For example, uh, what we call inside in Tango Awareness is inside you or inside your, uh, your partner or inside this kind of bubble that people have the tendency to get into it, okay? So, for example, if someone gives you an instruction that says, well, you know, uh, pay attention to your axis, see, that is inside of you, 
okay? If someone tells you, pay attention to your partner's chest, see, that is inside the couple, okay? Uh, <clears throat> so, uh, outside means, uh, for example, a very common phrase that you, you, you hear over and over me saying, just walk like on the street. So when you walk like on the street, basically you are thinking in where you are going to, right? You are not uh, really thinking on your body, on how your body is functioning. You get it? You think maybe, well, you have to go to the office. Boom, you think on the office and, and all your body congruently uh, gets into that thing and goes into, uh, into your office. So that's an outside goal. And that's why all the instructions you see me giving uh, in Tango Awareness is about getting your attention outside of you, outside your partner, <coughs> and outside this, uh, you know, this Tango Bubble thing. Why is that? Why is that? Uh, well, as soon as you practice, by the way, you can feel the difference. You can feel that when you think outside, your body relaxes a lot more. Your body just uh, moves a lot easier, uh, with less muscle tensions, with less necessity of energy. Uh, and the reason is because <clears throat> we have something in our body that is our, uh, it's a neurological protection system. That means there's a part of you that is taking care, yeah, that when you walk on the street, when uh, you walk into a dance floor, that part of you takes care of that you don't bump into things, see? And it's other than conscious, it's not something you can control. A very good example that I usually give is if for some weird, uh, at some weird point, someone decides that, uh, you know, they can go uh, running through a wall, for example. Uh, <clears throat> for whatever reason, someone might think that's a good idea. They will start running into the wall. And I guarantee you that before you hit the wall, there's something in that person that mm, it will pull a certain percentage back. Yeah? You will not be able to go fully, uh, fully uh, in all motion and with all your power and hit the wall, okay? Uh, something in you will pull you back and it's unconscious, it's an angsting type of thing. If you don't believe me, well, try the experiment and you'll see. Um, <laughs> but, so, uh, that part of you uh, that is in control of your, basically your survival, doesn't even understand that you might be dancing. It doesn't understand what dance is. It's just trying to preserve you from bumping into things and from different types of dangers. So, the game goes like this. That part, see, that probably is like about 30% of all your energy. That part, needs to know what's going on outside of you. Yeah, it needs to know where the walls are. It needs to know if there is a chair somewhere, uh, if there is a table, so you don't bump into things. So, when you show to yourself, you know, when you're moving around and when, uh, when you are looking around and you are very, very aware of everything, that part of you it starts to contribute to your movement. So everything gets a lot more organic uh, and a lot easier as you have been uh, doing with the Tango Awareness Exercise. On the other hand, on the other hand, all the other instructions you have been receiving outside of uh, Tango Awareness uh, and in other places, the tendency is that they get you your attention inside. That means introverted. Yeah? For example, a typical uh, tango example is you go to a class 
and they start to tell you how you have to walk. Yes, and they will tell you how to have your access and how to uh, feel your balance, right? So that's very internal. How to first project your leg. And then you have to move your knees, your hips, how to point your toes. All these instructions are very, uh, uh, are inside of you. So therefore, you get introverted. You get it? So, the more you think inside of you, the more introverted you get, the less information you have uh, on the outside and the less control. That's why when you overthink inside of you you tend to move slower yeah and with a lot of effort because your body really don't want to move because it doesn't have the necessary outside information that it needs to move freely and securely by the way so that is a, one of the pillars you know, one of the building blocks of uh, tango awareness that I repeat to you, that's exactly why it's not body awareness. Yeah? <clears throat> but it says of, of perceptions to basically get your attention out of yourself and get your attention out of your partner. Yeah? Amazingly enough, when the awareness grow into all these places, uh, by the way, you are a lot more conscious of what go what's going on even uh, with your partner and even with yourself. Yeah? So, uh, I'm going to give you some more parts of this Tango Awareness explanation. So, this is just the first one. I'm, I'm, I'm going to deepen it up little by little. So, uh, for the people that teach uh, Tango Discovery, so you really know uh, how these exercises are developed and what's the motive for. Uh, so you don't waste your time practicing other type of individualistic exercises or with your attention inside of you. So let them go and really fully practice the only the tango awareness exercises so you can expand uh, uh, your knowledge uh, on this technique so this is part one I'm gonna record some more parts where I'll keep feeding you information so uh, you can um, appreciate the benefits of and and you can really know why it works so well all this setup of exercise so being that said, see you next time.